Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. We're playing the 1.5.2 beta pack. We reset the server this weekend. And some of you may have caught um, the live stream this weekend. I did it a couple times. One was just kind of a test of the YouTube live event thing. And then I did Twitch last night, unscheduled. Um, but um, I think I'm going to come up with a day and time that I do that every week because I have a lot of fun with it. I got some comments about, um, you know, do something that's not boring next time and stuff like that. But basically a lot of people ask, what do you do in between episodes? And like, that's what it is. Like it was just regular boring mining and, and vanilla stuff. Just everything that you have to do on a normal normal Minecraft basis, um, so you guys wanted, you guys wanted to know you were curious, that's what it is, uh, I think you can still see the video from yesterday on Twitch, and you can see the one from, I think I did two, um, on Saturday on YouTube, a live event that should still be there for a while, um, so I'm just kind of setting up the base here, and I've got some bushes planted here, and they're blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And if you just left-click on the bush, it puts it in your inventory. And you can mix these things in a bowl. And you can make a berry medley. Which is actually not a bad, uh, bad food source. Though, if you notice, my food bar is full, but it still lets me eat it. So I'm just going to hang on to that uh, for a little while because I'm probably going to need it. These things grow up. I'm not sure how tall they get, um, but I guess we'll find out. So of course it's night. Um, this is where we're going to live. And we're actually going to make the most of the base upstairs. So I haven't really done anything with this yet. Uh, I made a pulverizer and a powered furnace just because I had to process ores. And apparently spiders can get in here no problem. <clears throat> um, basically I just made this stuff to just to, to process ores and I made a couple combustion engines and we have a big oil thing. It goes all the way down to to layer 12. And there's a huge pool of it down there. So what I want to first look at is this. When you spawn in 1.5.2, you have this book. And it gives you some stuff, but um, it's all this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's Tinker's Construct. Uh, I happen to have a lot of these things already because you can find them in villages. However, uh, you still have to make some things, like you have to make some of these bricks and um, stuff like this. The, you have to make the controller, probably the lava tank as well, and definitely the drain, I think. I'm not really sure. We can pop over to the village. Um, but you will find the casting table, the casting basin, and all of these other things. The tool station, part builder, pattern chest, and stencil table in villages. And then you have to make a few other things to get the thing going. So I, I want to first make some more of these bricks because I want to set these things up. Once you get it uh, going... You get two for one ores, so we need clay, gravel, and sand, which I have. That's probably not going to be enough. I'll just make make as much as I have, uh, and then we'll put it in here, and we'll give one of these guys a bucket of oil. And I have an aqueous accumulator back there just to keep these guys cool. So that's going to take a minute. Um, 
I believe this is kind of like Thomcraft in the way that once you discover things, you get the second book. So like once you make your seared bricks and then once you make your uh, smeltery controller and stuff like that, uh, then I believe you get the second book, which I borrowed from Voidable. He's been all over this thing. Um, and then what you have to do after you make your uh, your I guess the smeltery is the multi-block structure but it tells you everything you need so we're gonna have to make a faucet and a, and a lava tank and a smeltery controller so we're gonna do that then what we have to do it gives you a little picture of what it's supposed to look like uh, we're going to have to make some casts, and then we can pour the thing into ingots. And I just want to do this because um, I have a little uh, turtle strip mining downstairs, and there's a bunch of lava, so I figured I could throw a bunch of ores in there and let them do their thing, and then um, walk away and come back. So if we're going to need, see I've got a bunch of these, we're going to need a faucet, a lava tank, and a controller because we've got um, a casting table already. The casting basin, this guy, will let you make um, blocks of things, like you can make a block of iron with this. So since we're playing with Greg Tech, it's a way of doing it without the compressor. So that is, it ha actually has already come in handy. So I'm going to make two faucets because I may want to um, either make uh, ingots at one point or blocks at another point. And obviously I already have, you know, stuff to process ores, but uh, this thing is pretty cool. I did partially automate it uh, during the live stream with a computer and some buildcraft pipes. Uh, so what is the other thing we need? We need the controller and the tank. And it should give us recipes. I've already got those. I don't know if we need the drain or not. So I definitely need a controller, and then I need to do that thing with the lava tank. I'm not sure what that drain does, but it doesn't say that we need it, I don't believe. Yeah, we don't. So we may need that, we may not, I don't know. But we'll just do, um, we'll just do the basic thing for now, set the thing up, and then make our make whatever we need to make the um, the cast let me oh yeah you see now I have two books once I made the lava tank and the smeltery controller it gave me the other book automatically so let me save one for voidable we're gonna need some metals um, we're going to need either three copper, one tin, one tin, three aluminum, one copper, these combinations. And let's see, pouring aluminum, brass, or gold into an empty casting table. Okay, not aluminum brass. It's aluminum brass is one thing. So we're going to need... three aluminum and one copper or some gold and I don't know if I have any aluminum I have shiny ingots let's just do gold these guys filling up I gotta make sure this doesn't blow up
All right. So I've got some gold, and I want to set this up downstairs, like I said. Um, I imagine that you can pump lava into the tank here. I haven't tried it yet, but I don't see why not, since it let me interface with everything else with uh, Buildcraft. The computer, I was just using it to give it a redstone signal. When we put the thing together, I'll show you the spout and um, what it does. So, I've got a bunch of stuff down here. Let's put this thing, we'll just put it right over here since there's lava close by. Bunch of bad guys around here, as usual. Alright, I don't remember how big this thing is. Let's look at it. Um, larger basins will hold more metal. Alright, 3 by 3 bed of seared bricks. And then a shell around the thing. So let's just do this way. It's fitting that a smeltery would be near lava, right? I think it makes sense. Okay, and then we have to put put the things around here as well. And I don't think you need the corners. And then we're going to have, let's see, we have to put the controller and the tank down here. Tell you what, let's put the tank right there. Put the controller here. You can see you can interface with this block. And there we go. That should be it. Now we have an inventory over here. If you notice, before we put the thing together, well, I guess um, it gives you some if you have one layer. I actually want to make it one higher and see if it'll give us room for more ores. I'm not sure if it will, but I want to try it. Hmm. It's hard to tell because I can't tell if, if anything's in there. Well, now all the gold is in there. Yeah, I think it gives us a little more room. So I'm going to take all this out because we actually don't want it all in there. And if we make some glass viewers, we can see inside it. And I will do that later, but... Yeah, it definitely gives more room if you make it three tall. So I'm going to make it the maximum height. I'm going to knock out a couple of blocks here because you can actually see the liquid inside it as it's working. I think it looks pretty cool. All right. Once we have something to put in there anyway. All right. So now we're going to need one of these guys. And. Let's put that right there, and then we'll put this guy, casting table, underneath it. So now, if we put a bucket of lava in here, yep, 
you actually just right click it on the thing and you can see it and then you can see it in here if we put gold in there it's going to take a second and this bar is going to go up it's going to cook and then we'll have our Then we'll have our stuff, and you can kind of see it in there. Let me see if I can get up here. That was too high. See, you see as many as you have. So there's only one. So it kind of looks like a little half slab in there. It's melting it down right now. So hopefully this gives us enough. Um, I just need to make one cast for ingots. So now you can see it's that molten stuff. If you right click this guy, it's supposed to pour out. What did I do wrong? Oh, the faucet goes on the drain, I bet. I need I think I need to make one of those and put the faucet there because obviously it's not going to go through the bricks, right? Let me run over to my crafting table quickly. Voidable set the other thing up before, and I really didn't watch him do it, so. So let's put this up here. So I can put a computer on top of it later. And then we'll put our thing on there. Nothing. What's up, man? Maybe that has to go on a certain level of the structure. Maybe it all has to go on that, the bottom level, since it's a drain. There we go. So this is going to make um, a blank cast. And this actually works out perfectly because I can hide my pipes under the floor now. So it should harden. I guess it takes it a little longer than the other stuff. It still looks like molten whatever right now. The aluminum brass cools off in no time. Come on, thing. All right, let's go back to the book. Blank casts are made by pouring aluminum, aluminum brass, or gold into an empty casting table, right? And that is gold. So when you do aluminum brass, it hardens in about a second or two. So I'm not sure why this is not working for me. And I get the table back, but I don't get um I don't get anything. So let's try the aluminum brass. Three aluminum, one copper. And I don't know if I have any aluminum. Oh I do. I have I have a bunch of that probably in one of these chests or upstairs. It's the only bad thing about the strip mine program we're using is it puts these chests everywhere. Alright, I need one more aluminum. Maybe I have some of my miner's backpack. Yep, look at that. Okay.
So it's three aluminum and one copper. And I doubt I have any copper ore. Because I've been looking for diamonds first and foremost. So all my copper is probably upstairs. Yeah. Let me run upstairs and get some copper. And I will meet you guys back down here. I can find my ladder. Be right back. Okay. That's a problem living so high up and coming down to mining level as it takes forever. So what we need to do is put our uh, three aluminum and one copper in the thing. It's going to melt it all together and then it'll come out as aluminum brass and then we can make some blank casts. So I'm going to let this cook and I'll get, I'll get back to you when this is ready to go. Okay, hopefully this works. We right click the faucet. That is what it should look like. And there we go. This is a blank cast. And you only get one for that ratio of things, but that's all we need right now come over to the stencil table and put it in here you can scroll through patterns and I don't know what a lot of these do if you mouse over it tells you what they are we just want this one whoops I don't know why it let me do that so if we put the cast here I'm just gonna throw a bunch of iron in here just to demonstrate um, it's going to take a while to cook. It, I mean, it just does. But you get two ingots worth of liquid iron for one ore. So however much we put in there, we're going to get double from this. While that's working, um, I'm not really sure about the, the part builder. I haven't used that yet. But uh, the tool station, if you click on one of these, you can kind of see the outlines of some of those other patterns that we saw or other stencils I mean which we can't see without a blank cast but I know for a fact that we saw this one and that one and probably this one and I haven't really messed around with a lot of these but um, Voidable made me this sword which is pretty awesome sharpness and fiery uh, it's got a thing you um, you lunge. You hold down right click and when you let off you, you lunge forward. So I haven't gotten into any of that tool building stuff. I may have him as like a guest star because um, he's been playing with it all weekend and he uh, I think he's got it down pretty well. So these still aren't done yet. Of course Give them another second. Maybe we'll just right click the faucet. Yeah. So while this is finishing, um, basically what I did, I put a computer on the drain, like right above this block, because you can give this a redstone signal and it simulates basically a right click. So when you give this a redstone signal, it pours. And then if you put a wooden pipe underneath it, Probably the sides will work too. You put a wooden transport pipe underneath it with an target gate or a buildcraft, um, not buildcraft, a redstone engine. It'll actually pull the things off of the table. So, see, this is how much liquid we have in there. Um, and you can, you can fill this thing all the way up before you take anything out of it. But if you right click the thing, it pours it and it went in my backpack why did it give me aluminum uh oh apparently I just made a bunch of aluminum and aluminum brass this one should be iron. There we go. So I, apparently I had a little left in there, 
no big deal. But um, so now that all all that other stuff is out, you can stand here and click this forever. But it's much easier if you give it a redstone signal on a timer and then use a some sort of mechanism, like probably even a router, to pull the ingots off the table. So that is this thing, the smeltery. Yep. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, I should make some glass things so we can actually see what's happening. And I may relocate this a little bit, or I don't know. Since this is just a mine, it doesn't really matter. I just figured I could set this up down here, throw some stuff in here, and walk away while I was, you know, mining or whatever, and without having to run all the way upstairs and um, waste a lot of time going back and forth. So that will about do it for this episode. Hopefully it's daytime. I can, I can show you what we're working with here. I did a lot of exploring in the world. I really didn't find anything that really inspired me uh, as, you know, for a place to live. So I could find this place and then Sam and Voidable each found like really awesome places like 10 minutes later, which always happens. So you're welcome, Sam and Voidable. So this is the area, um, the ravine continues around that side. Uh, this is just a little, I don't know if it's a meadow or whatever, but we've got this whole overhang right here and I figured I'd hollow it out, which I actually, if I can back up a little bit, I have already started doing. Just enough to, to, you know, to make a little room to get started. But I figured I would, um, you know, hollow this out, make a couple of floors, and uh, turn it into a little base. And my goal is to have probably all my my stuff that I need to interface with, like the, the applied energistics, the control stuff up here and then run an ME cable down to, I don't know, below ground or back into the mountain so that all of the equipment is somewhere else. So we have plenty of room to do everything. But for now, I'm just gathering ores and stuff like that. We've got this huge oil thing, and we're going to use that with the combustion engines for a while. I ran um, a mine factory harvester with a magmatic yesterday, and... Those magmatics don't seem to run very long at all on a bucket of lava anymore. I feel like they nerfed it, maybe. I'm not really sure, though. So that's what we're going to do. And once I figure out the best day and time to live stream, I will make sure to let everybody know. And it's I'm going to try to do it the same day and time every week uh, so that everybody can tune in and Give me suggestions if you want, or just come hang out, um, you know, have a discussion with some other viewers and me and Sam or whoever else. So I think that'll do it for now. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.